in this experiment, what we're going to be looking at is the effect of light intensity on the rate of photosynthesis. And we're going to track this counting the number of bubbles produced per minute, i.e. the rate. The plant we're going to use is Elodea, which is pondweed. And the reason we use this is because it's an aquatic plant. So as it photosynthesizes, it will produce oxygen bubbles, which we can then count to give us an idea of how much photosynthesis is happening. Now, it should, should be noted that what we'll see is as we increase light intensity, we will see an increase in the rate of photosynthesis up until a certain point and this point is called light saturation i.e the point at which the plant is working at its absolute optimum at that temperature so the number of bubbles being produced will stagnate and will no longer increase despite the light intensity increasing as you bring the light bulb in closer so the first thing we have to do here is make sure we have our control in place and we do this by measuring out sodium hydrogen carbonate and what we're going to do here is we're going to get five grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate and we're going to place this into 500 milliliters of water we're going to stir that up and what this does is it keeps the level of carbon dioxide steady throughout the entire experiment the other option here is to state that you kept temperature the same throughout the experiment in the exam you would state that you used a water bath to keep this temperature constant on this occasion, I just used the room temperature itself. Now, once I have my graduated cylinder set up, it is now time to set up the lamp. What I'll do is I'll place this lamp one meter away from my graduated cylinders, and then I'm gonna take my Elodea and get this ready. So I'm gonna take two bunches of Elodea, and then using my scalpel, I'm going to cut across them at an angle. Now, the reason I cut across an angle here is to cut through an air sac so that when these either they are in the graduate cylinder and they begin to photosynthesize, we can see the bubbles being produced. I also take a paper clip and add it to the bottom of the Elodea because this is going to weigh it down and keep it below the level of the water throughout the experiment. And this is really important, again, because the whole point here is we need to be able to see the bubbles being produced to track the rate of photosynthesis itself. To begin with, the light bulb is left a full meter away from the graduate cylinders and what you're going to see is there is going to be very very little production of bubbles and this is because the light intensity isn't going to be that great so what you'll see here now is very little activity but a little bubble is forming and it's going to be released out from the top of the stalk there but again not a massive rate of photosynthesis now what i started to do after this was i brought the light the light bulb in closer and it should also be noted that as i brought the light bulb in by 10 centimeters each time i gave the plant about five minutes to react to its new level of light intensity and then counted the level of bubbles being produced i don't need to show you every single time but what i will show you is what happened when the light bulb got to 10 centimeters away this is whereby the light intensity was at an absolute optimum. And what we're going to see is there is a way, way, way increased rate of photosynthesis. So lots of bubbles are forming and being released out. And at about 40, 50 centimeters, this rate of photosynthesis pretty much leveled out at our light saturation point. But you can see there all those oxygen bubbles being produced, proving that photosynthesis is happening. And it is much quicker than it had been when it was a meter away.